Where are you going? Why, well, I thought it was best to gift out a bit of space. Where are you staying? We need to be around so we can sort things out with Dad and Ronnie. I can't see this working out. Hey, we'll think of something. In the meantime, what about the B&B? &B? The only people that hate me more than Dad and Ronnie are Diane and Pollard. I think I know how we can get you in. You look tired. I'm fine. Maybe it'd feel better if you accepted Chrissy's apology. I just need a brandy. <laughs> what we need is a more sedate life, like you said. Less fighting. You and me by the sea. Imagine that. <laughs> we could get a dog and walk along the beach every morning. A schnorbitz with a, a brandy keg round its neck. <laughs> <laughs> It'd probably show me more loyalty than my own daughter. Yeah, well, give it a day or two. Things got out of hand. And then I want you to bury the hatchet, because if I can forgive her, so can you. You can forgive her because you're decent. Chrissy's bitter. Money-grabbing. She's changed. Ever since Robert. It's like part of her has died. And then Andy. <laughs> she became a nasty piece of work. Look, she's still your daughter. Don't push her away. I don't want to. I love her. But you make me happy. And I'm not going to let her take that away from me. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Um, yeah. thank you. It's just for tonight. I need a place where I can have a quiet drink and de-stress. Oh, we're not talking about TVs through the window, are we? <laughs> no, nothing like that. I mean, Home Farm is big, but with my dad, Ronnie, and Chrissy too. Once in a while, I want my own space where I have control of the remote and no inane chit-chat. I bet you do. Especially after that fiasco with the police. Uh, Rebecca's after a bolt hole for the night, uh, not to hear your gossip. <laughs> it might be for more than one night, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, well, if you want to relax, uh, we do have a rather classy uh, brioche and a small but uh, equally classy menu. Oh, yes, all of that. Are you sure the room's for you and not for Chrissy? What? After today, I'm guessing your dad'll have thrown her out. Knowing him, I would have. I can assure you he's done no such thing. The room's for me. Come on, Diane. She's told you she's here to get away from the family. OK. Sorry for doubting you. That Rioja sounds delicious. Have you got enough in case I want a second bottle? I will go and check. And, um, could I have a look at that classy menu? Of course. I'll be up in a minute. And I'll sort your food from somewhere else. You can't have Pollard looking on your door. Okay, what if they find out? They won't. Quick. Okay. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, ah, you know what? Um, I think the wine will be enough. Food's for wimps. <laughs> Tom, actually. <laughs> Cheers, and uh, look, thanks for today. Well, well, how did it come after I left? 